Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five step circular arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first arrow with the icon and the text. Then it show you the second, then the third arrow. And when I click, it will show you two more options in the bottom, which is D and E. So let's see how to create this circular arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes and select the oval shape and just click here. You get this oval shape, which is height one width as one and shape outline, make it no outline and place the oval shape here. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle for this also shape outline, make it no outline. I'll zoom it and place exactly here on top of uh, this one. Then I'm going to select this oval shape and press control D to duplicate it. Right mouse click, go to format shape and increase the transparency level then bring this circle here and increase the size by holding the shift key you can see here this should particularly this shape has to be aligned with this one so I'm just going to increase the size again hold the shift key so this looks perfect. If you can see here, this is perfectly matching with this. Then I'm going to select this, press control D to duplicate and place exactly on top of this and increase the size. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. Press control D of this circle, bring it here, hold the shift key and increase the size and it should be aligned so this is properly aligned now the next i'm going to just change this color a little bit maybe this color then i'm going to select this press ctrl d and put it on top of this make sure that it is properly aligned and increase the size further now i'm going to duplicate the circle press ctrl d and again using the shift key increase the size and make sure that this is properly aligned so let me just change this color Later on, I'm going to change these colors anyway. Now, I'm going to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle covering half of the circles or one side of the circles. And then you can select all these shapes. Now, make sure that this shape should not be selected, the rectangles. Only this rectangle and the circles should have been selected. Go to format, merge shape, just say fragment and delete the unwanted area. So I'm just going to delete all this. And then select all this and shape outline, make it no outline. Now I'm going to add the arrowhead for that go to insert shapes and under block arrows you have got this one which is arrow chevron just draw this one maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and zoom it and you're going to add this here press ctrl d to duplicate you're going to add one more here and the other you're going to add here then I'm going to select this object first, this shape and then the rectangle and the arrowhead. And I'll go to merge shape, say union. Then I'll select this one, the rectangle and the arrowhead. 
I'll say union and the third I will select this and just say union then you can change the color for this I'm going to use uh, this color then I'm going to use for this somewhat orange and this is a red color and select all these three and you can give the shadow effect which is offset top left and make sure that this is sent to back you got this shape then you can select these two shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and ctrl g to group it and using the arrow you can rotate it so first let me just select all these three ctrl g to group it and rotate it i'll just put it here and this two I'm going to put it here and then change the color of this ungroup this and change the color so I'm going to select uh, this particular color and then I'm going to select this color for the arrow and the shadow size should be the opposite side so i'm just going to shadow and just put it off site bottom right and then you want to make a shadow effect for this also which i have already did but we can give one more shadow effect i'll just press ctrl d to group it format i will fill this with black increase the transparency effect and go to soft adjust or instead of this first you can ungroup this select all these three and union it and then you can give the soft edges and increase the transparency level further and just add it here and then just send to back so you got this shadow effect and similarly you can do the shadow effect for this and background color you can use some light gray color and then you can add the icons and the text here so to add the text you can go to insert text and just say this is either a or one let me just say a make it bold increase the size and give the same color as of the arrow and just put it here a control d this will be b and this is c again control d bring the other side so this is d and e So thus let me just change to B, C, D and E and then you can add your detailed text here with the headline. Just add your text, control D to duplicate. Control D again. This time you have to align it to right. And let's do the animation. Before, before doing the animation, make sure that this is ungroup. And then I'm going to add some icons to it. So you can just select, select any icons. Let me just select this 
फाइव आइकन्स I believe the interconnection is slow, so it's taking time. Now it's inserted. Graphic fill, make it white, and this I'm going to make it point three, and start adding one by one here. And then group this. I'll just select this and this and group it. Control G. Select this arrow and this. Control G to group it. And this and this. Control G to group it. And then I'll just send this back. Send to back. This also. Send to back and the our shadow also send to back. Similarly, you can group this also. Control G to group it, and Control G to group it, and send this to back. And I'm going to group this also. So it's time to do the animation now. Close the form and background. Go to animations. Enable the animation pane. Se select the first, which is A, and I'm going to give a wipe effect. You can see here, and then it should come wipe the text and effect. Make it from left, and this will be start after previous. And then using the animation painter, I'm going to copy the animation to the other objects. So I'm going to select this. animation painter click on the second one and then the text then using this i will select the third animation painter to this and then the last is the arrow i'll just select this arrow and give the fade effect and i will just say after previous so if i play it will look something like this and i'm going to select this animation painter i'll select this only have to change the effect option from bottom to top right and then the wipe effect from right after previous then i'll select this and i'll click on e and the text animation painter so if you see here if i play it will show you something like this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye